Hey, Ronnie. Uh, congrats on your subs, your 300 subs, which actually uh, looks like it's a little, a little closer to 350 now. You're almost at 350. So that's pretty cool. Um, just keep doing what you're doing, brother. And uh, before long, it's going to be 400, 500, even, you know, 1,000, even more. <clears throat> You, uh, I, I definitely enjoy watching your videos, and I know a lot of other people do too. So, um, keep doing what you're doing, and you'll uh, you'll keep seeing those numbers going up and up and up. So, 300 subs—that's pretty cool. And thanks for having your contest too. Uh, the last contest you did, um, I wanted to enter it. I was even talking to Skipsy, you know, about entering it and entering the, answer the questions. Um, I like your format with the five questions. You know, keeps it kind of simple. And of course, um, your theme, again, this time around, uh, being food related. Yeah, it's right up my alley. So, so I figured to make up for uh, missing out last time around, um, I'd... Maybe rather than just sitting in front of the camera and answer your questions, I'd actually uh, show you some of the answers to the questions. So, so that's what I did. Uh, I hope you enjoy some of the little video clips I put together. And uh, hey, thanks for having your contest, man. I uh, I appreciate having been able to get to know you uh, personally outside of uh, just YouTube and stuff. And uh, it's an honor to have you as part of uh, Caps. And uh, it's a pleasure to be able to see you about once a month. And hopefully we'll be able to uh, do it a little more often here. Uh, we need to get together sometime there, brother. All right. So anyway, on to the video clips. Like I said, thanks for your contest, and uh, good luck to everybody who entered. All right. We'll see you guys. I know, I know. I get it. But, but, Boontar, you look so disheveled. Yeah, well, that's because I just woke up. Um, but I need to make a video because I'm uh, answering Ronnie's question. He wants to know how you like your eggs. And uh, Skipsy came in this morning. I said, uh, you want some breakfast? I said, what's for breakfast? She says, hash and eggs. So this is the best way to have your eggs. Um, to have hash and eggs, you uh, have the eggs poached. And I know we've done a video on this before. But the eggs are poached, and then they're put on a bed of hash, um, which uh, we have roast beef hash. <clears throat> you can have... Uh, roast beef hash or corned beef hash. Um, I like both of them, but Skipsy doesn't like the corned beef hash, so uh, we compromise, and she uh, she only likes the roast beef hash, so that's what we eat with the uh, eggs on top of it. Um, now the breakfast is fully made, and Skipsy's got her hash and eggs over there. Um, <clears throat> here's with the, you know, uh, you were asking, Ronnie, about, um, what do you, you put hot sauce on the eggs, or what do you put on the eggs? Well, here's, here's the deal. Alright, I got the hash and eggs, and then, uh, I gotta have, over here, some toast, and I got Vegemite on there, and then this right here, sometimes I'll have this, sometimes I won't, uh, but that's the Sambal Olique, which is this stuff, right here. Careful, I hope that lid doesn't come it's uh, a chili paste, uh, rooster sauce, chili paste. I know people people call the sriracha sauce rooster sauce, but the uh, sa sambal olique uh, also has a rooster on it, and it is ground fresh chili paste. And anybody that likes spicy food, this is really good on like everything eggs or in your soup or on pizza Peanut or jelly sandwiches. 
Don't get weird in my video. Sorry. Peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. I don't know. Maybe, I've never tried that before. Maybe it would be good. He prefers tuna on his peanut butter sandwich. Uh, but yeah, I mean, anything that you'd put hot sauce, any kind of meat or uh, vegetable or whatever, it's really good. Oh, it's great on like steamed broccoli with some sambal leek on it. Oh, it's really good. Oh, asparagus too. It's amazing. All right, but that's not what you asked about. You asked about eggs. So here's my eggs. Poached eggs on hash with some sambal leek, a little bit of salt and pepper, toast, Vegemite, and of course coffee. So... I'm gonna go eat my breakfast, and the and the deal is too with the egg. You mash it all up. You just make it a big mush mash and and, and eat it. So it looks kind of like here. Skipsy's already halfway done with hers. It's all just mush mashed. So, all right, that's it for that question. On to the next one. For the next question, Ronnie wanted to know. I think the way the question was worded was, "What's your preference?" And he was asking what you like to have on the side. Like, say when you have a burger, and I'm out with the family at Wendy's. We just finished at Cub Scouts. We did a little Cub Scout here. So we're all having our burgers at Wendy's. And These are the best I got my burger. These are the best burgers ever! I'm the rarest one to appear. The dog probably figured it out. Hey! I'm making a video. Shush. <laughs> While I'm eating a burger, the best thing to have on the side of a burger is another burger. Ain't that right, Shadrach? Hmm? Uh, so my preference when eating a burger is to have it with another burger. See you in the next question, guys. So, Ronnie's third question was, what's your favorite bedtime snack? Now, if, we'd, if we've had pizza, in the last day or so, uh, cold pizza is really good. But if we haven't had pizza, <clears throat> I think my favorite bedtime snack is um, just before going to bed, come to Steak and Shake and get you a seven by seven. That's seven patties of beef and seven pieces of cheese. Oh, it makes for a great bedtime snack. Ha 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 ha. You guys doing okay? Yep. Mm, we're doing great. Thanks for asking. <laughs> oh, it's so good. All right. See you guys in question four. Um, before we go on to question four, uh, it was a long day at Caps today. It was good to see you, though. Haven't seen you in a while. But, um, the bedtime snack thing. Um... Sometimes, besides the pizza or, you know, one of those 7x7 seven seven burgers, one of my favorite things at Christmas time is peppermint bark. And I got a box of this after Christmas that was on sale. And I've been, I, I actually keep it in the bedroom and I sneak it as I, uh, get up or go to bed or whatever just kind of as I'm passing by and you can see here I'm down to my last piece of peppermint bark and this stuff here this is like this is one of the best things about Christmas time little chunks of peppermint in there and the white chocolate on top and the dark chocolate underneath <laughs> this is my last piece I thought, since you were asking, and you're such a food-loving guy, I thought I would share this experience with you. My last piece of peppermint bark. This is so sad. Mmm. But so good. 
Oh, she's amazing. All right. Here it goes. Here's the end. Mm. That's it. No more peppermint bark. All right, guys. We'll see you in question four. For question four, Ronnie wanted to know uh, what meal we would make for him if he was at our house. Or uh, where we would go to eat if he came to our town. Well, he has been to our house, and we did share a meal. And he did come to our town. And we went out to eat at the local places. Uh, Dixie Chili is local to the area. We went, we went there to eat. And shared with him the Cincinnati Chili experience. And also, uh, La Rosa's Pizza is a local favorite. We went there as well. Uh, I think we had a good time there. Had a nice pizza. But someplace we haven't been yet. One of our favorite places to go to eat. One of these times, Ronnie, uh, you come for a CAPS meeting. We're going to go out to eat afterwards. Yep, that's it. Chewies. Chewies is definitely one of our favorite spots to go eat. So, Ronnie, one of these uh, one of these meetings, you come to Caps. We're gonna go for Chewies after for sure. So, so that's my answer to number four. Okay, uh, the fifth and final question. Um, this one was a little more difficult. It was not in the uh, theme of the uh, food questions. Um, pipe. It's a pipe. What pipe do you want? If waiting list and price were not an object, uh, what would be the one pipe that you would get this year? And I had to think about this because, I mean, I don't really have, you know, like the the pipe that I I need to have this pipe or. I need a pipe by this pipe maker or or whatever. I mean, I'm I'm pretty satisfied with the collection that I've got, um, and I enjoy smoking all my pipes. Um, I mean, of course, there's always room for one more. So I mean, I I, I well, let me let me look at some of the exotic pipes or crazy pipe makers or whatever. Um, and actually, I, I remember there was a <clears throat> episode of the Pipes Magazine uh, radio show podcast with Brian Levine uh, from Halloween. It was a Halloween episode. He had on uh, this guy, uh, Trevor Talbert, and he's uh, he is a pipe maker. And apparently, in addition to his regular pipes that he makes, he also does some crazy Halloween stuff. Um, and they're just a weird, creepy, uh, ghoulish, kind of macabre-looking type things. Um, they're, they're pretty unique, though. <laughs> and I guess he only makes a few of them a year. Um, and each one is different. There are no... Uh, you know, oh, I want I want that model and and have him you know replicate whatever you know. Everyone is a unique one of a kind piece. So um, now he does only make uh, a couple few of them a year, not not a whole lot, and uh, they are kind of pricey. So uh, yeah, maybe I'd I'd like to get one of those. Um, I don't know what you know. He, he also he doesn't take orders, like commission work, like, hey, will you do this, this, and this for me? Uh, when it comes to his Halloween pipes, he kind of just does whatever his creative juices lead him to do, and whatever appropriate block of briar he can get a hold of, he says. So, uh, yeah, I'd, I'd, you know, kind of leave it open to his interpretation and just whatever he comes up with. Uh, I'd like me a, a Talbert Halloween pipe. 
So what I did was I took some uh, pictures of some of his previous pipes that he's done, the Halloween pipes, and I made a little uh, montage clip here for you. So go ahead and take a look at some of his pipes. They're they're, they're pretty interesting. Um, and I'll also put a link to his website down below so that you can go to his website and take a look at his gallery and see some of the crazy pipes that he's done. Uh, like the pictures you're going to see here on his website, he's got like, you know, five or six pictures of each pipe and you can really look at some of the detail. So that's it, uh, Talbert Pipe. Um, and that's it for me for this video. After this little montage thing, that'll be that'll be the end. So thanks for watching, guys. And thanks to Ronnie for having his contest. Uh, I think it's still going a little while. This month, it's... Uh, near the end of the month is when the contest ends so if you're not already entered into Ronnie's contest go check out Piper McGee's channel and I'll put a link to his contest video below and you should go enter his contest and subscribe to him we need to get him up to he's you know almost up to 350 we need to get him up to like 400 500 600 let's get him some subscribers guys all right He's, uh, he's a good dude. He's a good friend of mine, and he's got a very uh, entertaining channel and a, a good perspective. So go check him out. All right. So we'll see you guys next time.